Okay, today is May the 7th, 2017, and right now we're looking at the western U.S. water vapor loop, and we have a surface to upper level low pressure system right here over Southern California, and that is generating some rain uh, for the area. Uh, we can see also that the uh, jet stream, this is the jet stream flow right here, which is hooking down to the south and around this vortex, but there is a transmitter uh, blockading this upper level low, this mid and uh, surface to upper level low pressure system right here is blockading the, the uh, vortex. We can see the evaporation pattern right about here as this moisture tries to wrap around and down into that low pressure area. So this is all being manipulated. There is some rain uh, mainly in the San Diego area. If we take a look at the Doppler map here right now, we can see the, the, uh, the pattern and we've got San Diego right down here, and there's a lot of yellow right offshore as this uh, moisture wraps around uh, counterclockwise. Up here in the LA area, we can see some snow showers up in the mountains over Big Bear. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at uh, the uh, Los Angeles area. We can see that there's some shower activity over the mountains, there's some snow. Through the valley areas, we've got uh, all over, there's uh, widespread shower activity, uh, uh, mainly down in, uh, in the uh, San Diego area. Right down here, we can see that there's still a lot of uh, moisture offshore. And uh, we'll have to see what the totals are. Um, let's go back to the uh, maps right here. We can see that that blockade that has been set up, this is going to prevent the jet stream flow from getting into the center of that system. So the weather controllers are, are maintaining control of this low pressure system. So it will not intensify, at least over California. Once this moves east, and it is moving slightly to the east, it's moving uh, kind of in a south southerly direction right now, but this is going to eventually move east. And once it moves away from California, they will, uh, these weather controllers will pull, pull the transmitter off and we'll see uh, much more development. Also notice right here in the infrared loop, we can see a lot of outflow from that high pressure that is uh, being uh, installed right on the top of this uh, low pressure system. So we have a lot of outflow right here along this boundary, this uh, blockade, this channel of high pressure, we can see that outflow from the descending air. If we go back again and look at the uh, water vapor loop, we can see the pattern here. We have a blockade all through here and all down this area, and that's where the outflow is, right around the uh, outskirts of that uh, center of that low pressure. All right, so we can see the uh, strong outflow right in this area. And that's the work of the transmitters. The transmitter, one of them, there's several at work. But the one right over this uh, particular low pressure is, is causing this outflow. Now here's the uh, northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see the uh, pattern here. This is the jet stream flow right here, hooking down. And we can see that wide blockade of high pressure in this area. Here's the uh, infrared map. Look at all that outflow right in this entire area. Everything is being squashed. But we are getting rain in Southern California. That's good. Okay, let's take a look next at the uh, surface analysis map. We can see the high pressure depicted in the uh, East Pacific right here. We have a, a trough, this dotted line. There's a low, 1,003 millibar at the uh, surface level. We also have three or four lows up here in the uh, Gulf of Alaska, 988, 988 here, 992. These are all spinning in a counterclockwise a pinwheel pattern. There's a cold front shown here between that high. 
Okay, now here's the uh, swell report. And we've got 21 foot seas off of central and a portion of Southern California, and 15 and 18, 12 to 18 foot seas off of uh, Southern California, which will be moving in probably by tomorrow, late today, tomorrow. But we've got solid 21 foot seas uh, right off of uh, Central California. And that's uh, whipping up some pretty good, uh, good sized waves moving in. Okay, here's the, uh, we've seen the jet stream pattern here. It's hooking down and uh, around that vortex. Of course, the transmitters are uh, evaporating moisture right around this area, and so that's going to limit the amount of uh, rain that uh, Southern California gets. All right, here's the sea level pressure. Once again, we have that uh, surface load depicted right here over Nevada. Everything is spinning around in a clockwise pattern around that low. Here's the 500 millibar. We have the center of the low right over uh, Southern California, right over Los Angeles, as a matter of fact, here on the 500 millibar map. That's a closed low. And we see some squiggly lines right through there. It's the transmitter manipulation. And we have the uh, 300 millibar map. And we have a lot of squiggly lines around this uh, circulating low right here. Okay, so that's the report. And uh, good news is, is that uh, Southern California is getting rain. That is, uh, that's all good. Uh, let's pan around a little bit. If we can. This thing's frozen up. Most of that rain is down in San Diego. Okay, so we'll just leave it right here. We can see the uh, greater Los Angeles and Riverside and portion of San Bernardino is uh, getting scattered showers and snow showers. All right, so that's it. We'll leave it uh, right, right here. And uh, we can see the... Uh, See the pattern, that transmitter at work, right here, there we go. Okay, so uh, we'll try to get another uh, update, a little better uh, quality uh, video here uh, by tomorrow. Okay, that's it.